Okay, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to create these app home uh, custom actions. So you see we have a create case here button on the central app home. So the idea is that if you're maybe on, um, you're, you're working a, um, with your team on how to create cases in Salesforce, you might want to just direct them quickly to the central app and have your custom buttons here. So it's a consistent way for them to get their cases or tickets or leads or whatever you want um, created easily and seamlessly. So I'll do a small demo and then we'll show you how this sets up. So here's the central action. By the way, because I'm an admin, most users wouldn't see the admin settings. They only see central actions in my settings. So when they hit create case, they're gonna be presented with a form And when they save, it can kick off any number of actions. You can send it to a triage channel. You can post back to the user and a message that their case was created um, and then manage the ticket the way you want. Um, we have a lot of videos and tutorials on that. But for today, I just want to show you how to get the action in here. OK, so this is leveraging an existing function we have, which is around um, this ability to create custom um, slash commands. So um, let me show you this first. So if you type in Centro, you'll get this ephemeral message with all these actions. And here is the create case custom action. And in fact, we can create as many of these custom actions as you want. And so users can access them through the slash command. Um, but as soon as you create one for the slash command slash Centro, it will automatically appear in the app home. Okay, so how do we create one? We're gonna go to, first of all, we're gonna create a Slack workflow builder. And I'm gonna do one for new leads. So we'll do create, we'll call this um, app home create leads. It can be anything, I'm just using this as an example. We're gonna use a webhook triggered workflow. And we're gonna add some variables here. The first one we're gonna add is um, called trigger ID and that's gonna be of type text all one word all lowercase that is important it is case sensitive so now we're gonna use um, user ID and we'll pick our type as slack user ID and then um, hit done and that should be it for webhooks um, and I'll show you why these are important in a moment but um, we do need to use webhook triggered flow because that um, app home um, doesn't have any other context, any channels or anything, or shortcuts or anything, so it has to be a webhook. Okay, so we're going to hit next and add our steps. So the first thing we're going to do is um, submit a Salesforce form, and we're going to um, Pick the automation user. That's fine. Um, and we're going to send. It, we're we're going to normally we would ask the user to click a form button first, but we're going to hit the don't send a message, and so that that way the modal will appear instantly. So we're going to insert a variable and use the trigger ID we set up in the workflow the webhook trigger. Um, we can have a confirmation message that says, um, you know, something like. Thanks for registering a lead. And then we pick our object, lead object, and add the fields that we need to add. So maybe first name, <clears throat> last name. company and maybe uh, lead source okay so then we'll hit save that will be our form step and then we can optionally post that record back to the user acknowledging that we um, got it we can also send this to maybe a leads channel we can do a lot of stuff from here now that we've got the lead registered. Um, 
In, in this case, we're going to use a conversation variable of where to send this um, confirmation. Um, we're going to use the user ID, and we're going to use their mention. So this will post back to the um, Centro App Home Messages tab. And we'll insert the lead record, and we're not going to link it, and we'll hit save. All right, so simple example, but the idea here is that we're going to grab this webhook URL. We'll click copy. And now when we come back to our, remember this, this is our slash command customize. We're going to hit customize. Now we're going to add or remove a workflow button. We're going to create a new button here. And we'll label this. Um, first, we'll paste in our URL so we don't lose it. Then we will. Um, Maybe do something fun like we'll do the star, which is typically uh, a new lead. Create lead. And we can optionally give it a slash, can, slash can, command name. So if people need to, or if people like using slash commands in Slack, no problem. We can just call this new lead. And so they would type slash centro space new lead and invoke the same thing. All right, so now we should have our new button. And that will pop up here. But now, when we go back to the app home and refresh, we have our new lead, or create lead button. So now they can hit create lead. Here's our form. And there you have it. You have your um, new lead action or any Salesforce custom action um, available in the central app home. Uh, let us know if you have any questions.